it's a historic day. Uh, 131 years uh, 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 Headingley has been at stage in rugby league and cricket and so much history and heritage of course uh, but today is the first time that a statue has been unveiled so that's quite a remarkable and a very significant day and it's fitting that uh, John Holmes should be the, the one player uh, throughout the history of the club uh, uh, selected to, to represent uh, the, the finest traditions of the club and indeed the game. John was uh, uh, an, an ideal choice, uh, a Leeds lad uh, such a rich career both for Leeds, England, Yorkshire uh, and Great Britain. Uh, a World Cup winner of course uh, and uh, as I said it's the finest traditions of both rugby league and indeed the Leeds Rhinos. Yeah, massive, massive day. Um, got the weather for it as well which is fantastic. Um, it's just been a long time coming, a lot of planning, a lot of hard work from a lot of people. Uh, but just a, an amazing day. I, I still can't believe it's happening, to be honest with you, until that cover comes off. <laughs> His feet were always on the ground and he, he didn't like the adulation as such. He didn't like him being in the public eye. He just wanted to play rugby league and, and that showed all the time. And his teammates, which he had, I said he had two teams, one for 10 years and then another for another 10 years. So, you know, and they all thought the same of him, still do. And I think this morning, when you see these people here, just think all them years back and they still want to come and, you know, respect what, what John did. So, uh, no, it's massive, massive morning. So I think all the players that have played here and, and the boy from down the road has done it and that's, that's, what, that's what makes it better for it, the fans and the club. It's not just John to me today, it's, it's for everybody, is this? So, uh, and it's going to be there forever. So it's fantastic, yeah. Let's go. With John's record, uh, we are the lucky ones, us people here today, uh, we've all seen him play. And it's looking around the audience, there's people who have played with him and played against him. So that's a testament to the statue today. Marvellous afternoon. You know, not only do you, you know, play alongside each other for Leeds, you know, we, we, we played for Great Britain together, we taught together, so we got to know each other inside out. Very humble man, very humble man. The, the, you know, life took him away far too early in life, very sad was that uh, we lost a very good, a very good man and uh, it's a very proud moment for his family and it's a good occasion for Leeds Rugby League Club as well. The club are doing so well with this heritage thing but we had to be the first man and yes I mean 600 and odd games I was there for this first game at, 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 at Hunslet when he came on as a, as a 16 year old fullback and even then you know he had this ability he kicked, he, he, he kicked 10 goals and scored two tries in that game and he came on he, yeah, outstanding lad and to see him just mature and he was great in defence as good as anybody and attack fitting tribute lovely guy yeah well 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 deserved no very very fitting and uh, well deserved took a long time to get it organised but it's organised now and uh, couldn't have gone to a better block so skilled so humble um, very very hard man I don't think he's ever played with he's not been knocked out he's got up got on with it not said much uh, what a great ambassador for rugby league Bob, this is a, it's been massively important, hasn't it, as a, as a project for the foundation, just to get it over the line now and see what's a wonderful event, how, how relieving is that? It, well, just like as Phil says, it is a great relief, but it's a relief with great pride and pleasure, to be honest. It's been a great journey. That's going to play such an important part for the foundation. When we bring young people to this amazing facility to see that wonderful heritage display underneath the North Stand, for them to see and witness the history and what they can do around here, we'll be starting from the John Holmes statue. Young people of Leeds will learn about John's life here in Leeds, what he did, what he did for this club and what better role model and values could we pass on to those young people as they then go through the journey with us at the foundation. So yeah, it's been great. I remember him coming in very well at very young age. I started when I was 16. I think John must have been 16, 17. Uh, but he was, he'd got it to play, the brains. Um, and John was a player that I would always want to sign for a club. 
whatever position you played him, he was good enough to play most of the positions. What you see about good players is that when you look at them on the field, the time they've got, everybody else seems to be running around like headless chickens, but John was so calm, he could see situations, such a, a, a command of the game, uh, he knew what was going and it, it was just nice to watch, you could tell he was class. So when I came here, uh, obviously I knew about John because I played against him and you know, I had loads of respect for him. And uh, this is what Ward is alluding to. I, I just, in you know, one of the early training sessions, we were just talking and I, I just said to him, uh, I'll just try and get outside you, Johnny. You know, I'll just try and get outside you. And he just said to me, just tell me when you want it and I'll find you. And that sort of epitomised him, really. It was just a godsend because he'd just find you, just hit the ball, you could steam. So you'd get a little bit, oh, you know, you scored a good try, but all I did were run where. Run where they were told by John Holmes. So the club's great. The unity with Leeds is amazing. Getting to know Phil and the family, as he did earlier, he got quite emotional. And we do, well, we have been out with mate. So, so it's been a bit of a journey, but it's been a good journey. Um, getting involved with doing a sculpture like that you can't help but get involved with the families and what they want bronze has that you look at any of the great sculptures around the world that bronze is eternal and it gives it that so when Leeds is in we've all moved on to the generation that will still be there and so for Phil and his family that's massive absolutely huge and obviously for the for John as well so at the end of the day you know he's just a normal guy that's become an icon yeah. But, do you know what I mean? And that icon then will be inspirational to kids. So that just goes on and on like a rippling pond. Bombshell, Cookson and John Holmes, the architect of a lot of today's success.